Hello and welcome to our Knowledge Base and Automation Tips and Tricks video. Today I'm going to show you ways to automate your programming process by using the default and process technologies found inside the Esprit Knowledge Base. Although there is an additional cost, implementing both these technologies can reduce your overall programming time and mistakes that can happen while rushing to complete a program. Access these technologies in Esprit by going to Machining, Common Machining, Knowledge Base Manager. Inside the Knowledge Base Manager, you will find your default technology and your process technology. The default technology is used by Esprit to populate the fields within operations before users have a chance to enter values or when setting a field to system default. The process technology is used for storing feature types and their processes that can automatically be deployed inside of Esprit based on the rules defined by the user. Esprit process technology has several sample part types as seen here or you can create your own, as I've done for this video. To use the process and default technologies, the Esprit document needs to be set up to reference these technology by going to the Knowledge Base Document Setup. Here you would set your part type to the desired part, in this case the Esprit Tips and Tricks part type, and then set your default technology to the desired default technology, Esprit Tips and Tricks in this case. Once your part type and default technology have been set, click OK and begin programming your part. In this file, I currently have no features and only one tool. With the process technology, I would create my turning features using the turning feature recognition as I typically would. As I'm creating the turning features, the process technology is referencing the database to create the specific type of feature that I'm looking for. If I click at my left face and then look at my knowledge base section in the properties tab, I'll see that this feature has been identified as a facing feature. Once your features have been defined, Remove any unnecessary features, then group your features in the order in which you were going to process them. So we are going to do OD, face, and then our grooving features. Once your features have been grouped, go to the process manager. Inside the process manager, Esprit will evaluate your features and return the appropriate process. After verifying all of the processes, you can click apply and Esprit will apply each process as necessary. If there are any errors, you'll be notified in the output window. Once your operations have been applied, you can exit the process manager and verify your features. Here you can see I have six new turning operations. And if I look on my tools tab, the process manager brought in three turning tools for me. Now I can go to my operations tab and verify that my operations are in the correct order. Once I've verified my operations are in the correct order, I can continue programming with other technologies. For certain instances, the use of process technology is not applicable. For those instances, we must create our feature, and once our feature has been created, we must manually apply a machining process. For those instances, we rely on manipulating the default technology in the knowledge base. It is important to remember that the default technology should never be overridden. Instead, a custom technology should be created to manipulate the values. For us, we've created the Esprit Tips and Tricks group and will manipulate the technology for the solid mill turn contouring operation. To manipulate the operation, double click on the operation to open it up. Inside of the operation, find the field you would, would like to manipulate. Right click in the field and select Edit Properties. In this case, for full clearance, I'm going to set my default full clearance value to be my lathe machine setup bar diameter divided by 2 and then add 0.1. Once you've entered your expression, click OK and then continue manipulating the fields. The next value I'm going to set is my clearance value. Instead of the default, I'm going to edit the properties and set my default clearance value to be 50 thousandths of an inch or one millimeter, depending on the system unit. Once the manipulation is complete, click OK. The use of expressions in our default technology increases the effectiveness of our technology, allowing the user to enter less information as they are programming. With my clearance setting set, I'm going to go to the strategy tab, and then in the incremental depth field, I've set it to be the tool diameter divided by two, so the radius of the tool. Checking that, I'll click OK. Click OK to save my operation. Once the default technology has been set, I can go back into a spree, group my feature, and then apply a solid mill turn contouring operation. On the general tab, I'll select my tool, and then on the strategy tab, verify that my incremental depth is set to, to the radius of my tool. And on my links tab, my full clearance is the radius of my bar plus 0.1, and my full clearance is set to 50 thousandths of an inch. Click OK to apply the machining process. 
After applying my machining process, I can go into the simulation and verify that all of my processes are done correctly. With the use of process and default technologies within a spree, many time-saving steps can be implemented in your programming process. That's today's tip video. Thanks for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter or share this video and stay tuned for future tips and tricks.